Well, hey everyone, and welcome back to Grow Together here at Lost River. In the lesson this morning, Lawrence focused on Psalm 32 and David's prayer of confession. And our hope is that throughout the week, that as a church, we'll revisit that passage with family and friends and maybe even people from the community and use the questions that go along with it in the handout or in the email uh, to develop greater intimacy in our prayer life with God and to learn how to pray prayers of confession. But in this video, what we want to do is focus in on our memory verse for the week, which comes from 1 John 1 in verse 9. And I actually want to start a couple verses before in verse 7. And there the Apostle John writes this, that if we walk in the light as Jesus is in the light, then we have fellowship and community with one another. But if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and are lying to ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But, and here's our memory verse for the week, if we confess our sins, then he is faithful and he is just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. All right, a couple observations from this verse. First of all, confession is about bringing to light what can only grow in the darkness. Just about everything in our world needs light to grow. But the one thing that grows and spreads rapidly in the darkness is sin. And that's exactly what David experienced in Psalm 32. That He says, when I kept silent, my bones wasted away. And maybe you've felt that way before as well. But when we bring sin into the light, it loses all its power. When we confess our sins to our God, who is faithful and loving and stands ready to forgive us, all the power of sin loses its grip on our lives. And so confession is about bringing to light what can only grow in the darkness. But the other thing is this. Confession is about both being fully known and knowing that you still fully Belong. You know, I think sometimes we imagine that those two desires of being fully known and being able to fully belong are competing with one another. That if I make myself known, then I'll not really belong, or the only way to really belong and to have a place and a part is if I never open up and never live a life of vulnerability and transparency and make myself known. And sometimes we do that not only in community with other people, but also with God. But here's the joy of confession, that when I bring my sin into the light, when I bring my sin before a loving and faithful God, then what we find is a God who knows the worst thing about us and loves us in spite of it. We know that with God, we can both be fully known and still know that we fully belong in him. And so that's the joy of confession, that if we confess our sins and he is faithful and he's just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness.